first Arsenal game of the season. How do you feel about today's match? Um, well, I feel I feel happy about you know the resumption of Premier League generally, and I feel happy seeing my you know my well talented players, my beautiful players, the team together, seeing them on the pitch, and even winning the first match. I'm so 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 happy today. How apart from winning, what can you say about today's match? Um, well, generally, today's match, I, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I was expecting more, you know, so far so good in the preseason. The players have been fantastic, the shuffling and everything, trying to integrate some even young players into the team. You can see, obviously. So I wanted more of it because I know this team, they are very, very hungry compared to last season. You know what happened last season. So I believe the team is hungry and they are ready to, you know, to win the league and to be part of the title uh, contenders. So, or all right, what happened to your Rolls Royce today? What is happening to Saliba? Well, uh, you, all, you, all, you all know Saliba. You know that he's a fantastic player. He's a very, very good composure defender. Like he was rated last season as one of the best um, centre back. So I don't know what's wrong today. Um, well, I've not seen him play something like this for Arsenal before. So it is a little bit, I'm a little bit convinced. But I think they are going to revisit this and ask him what's wrong or it's probably going to fix up in the, um, before the next match. Do you think it's just a mistake or do you think this is how it will be from now on? Uh, no, no, no. Obviously, it's not going to be like that. I know my Saliba. I know my Rolls Royce. He will not disappoint. This is just a, maybe just a little, maybe probably thinking about something or, you know, the first match. But I don't see, I don't see any reason for him to get panic or, you know, you, you have to lower your morale because you are playing Wolves. Wolves is just a, just a, just a small team, not really a small team. They were tough, by the way. But I just feel like you don't need to get yourself panic. Even when you are playing Man City, you don't behave like this, just Wolves. No, 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 no. Talk to me about Zinchenko. Zinchenko today being played ahead of Calafiori. Knowing fully well that last season, Zinchenko is one of the reasons you guys considered a little, a little bit amount of goals you guys considered last season. What can you say about him? You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I Initially, I thought uh, Zinchenko was going to, you know, vacate the, 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 the team. Vacate? But, yes, now, of course. The team? Yes. Why? I was expecting him to leave because I feel like he exposed us now last season. He exposed us defensively. Exposed also, and that really affected us, and even that set him to be on the bench, because, and moreover, we don't we didn't have a very very good backup that is using a left a left footer that is in that wing. So we had you just have to improvise. You know, we have as now have a, lo a lot uh, a lot of uh, utility players. So we just have to improvise and put some some players there because we expected more from him. You should not be doing like that. He's more offens offensive uh, to defensive. So it really exposed us. But then I don't. I think this is just the beginning of the season. Uh, no, no, nothing. No, no, no offense. Yes, we won. No big deal. But about California, California, California is definitely going to have its own time for play. No, that's not a problem. Ateta knows what he's doing. He knows the tactics. He, tactics he's working with. You can see that he didn't even bring him into the. He didn't bring California. Uh, he brought in uh, Timber, and you can see what Timber did. So there's no problem about that. Hopefully, uh, next match, California is going to start. All right, talking about Saka and your uh, entire attacking player, Saka, um, Gabriel, and Havas. What can you say about them? Because today they really did they did their job because you won, but they really they, they didn't really do as much as every Arsenal fans are expected of them. You know, I know Saka. I'm starting with Saka. I know Saka is a regular threat for every team, for every for every team that we play in Premier League, starting from A to Z. For every team, Saka is a regular threat. So if you want to mark Saka, you must be on two on Saka. Otherwise, your work done is going to be on zero with zero. You can see the goal he scored today. It was just because that last man, that that that, that, that left back, it was the only one disturbing him. That was why he was able to penetrate him. Otherwise, if they were two, he wouldn't have because he tried his best in the first half trying to penetrate. But you just have to be two. That's have to be two players on him. But I'm going to have it. You know, have it is. I don't know. I don't know what I have as cook for Ateta. I don't know what. I don't know the connection, the chemistry between them. But I believe uh, Avat has his own aspects. He has his own aspect that he, 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 the, his impact in, in the team. He has his own impact. Let me just use that. He has his own, his own impact. He just that uh, Avat is not clinical. He's not this clinical player. Though he's not, he's not, in, he's, he's not a nine. So we don't expect. We should not expect more from him. We just have to expect to some extent. We just have to. So and. And to Martinelli, Martinelli is not convincing. He's not convincing me. No impact. No, 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 no. He's not convincing me. 
Yeah, no, no, he's not convinced. Though he disturbs, he disturbs uh, the person at that wing. But I expect more from him as a winger. You should penetrate, penetrate, try to, you know, win fouls, move more fouls, and let's let's be clinical. Just be clinical. Convert chances. Con the conversion rate should be higher. It's low today. Today, I noticed that Thomas Pate did more job than Declarence in the midfield. Declarence was just a, was just there. I don't know what happened, but you, can you please tell us what happened to the This is actually telling me that if the clan rice is injured, and as far as Thomas Pate is, is available for me, then I have no problem. Then I can improvise and, you know, put someone uh, in that position that will be more a little bit more creative. Because I think I, think I still have some creative players in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in my squad. So I think um, the clan rice, I don't know what's wrong, but I feel it's because of Pate was on that pitch that's the reason why his, his work is not showing because he was just being flexible today moving there and there was not he was not positioned he didn't put po it was not positioned in the midfield today but he was doing most of the job so you can see at at the at almost at the end of the match he went off so i don't know hopefully we will we'll come back stronger do you think as now uh at theaters as now now right now is team fit for premier league trophy um yes yeah, last year uh, last year well, this is this was the same squad uh, this was the same squad that played uh, last year i would say they are they are didn't fit but i'm still saying is Arsenal still need a nine that has this conversion rate that is clinical that can score imagine Arsenal having a nine that can score that knows that okay this is my work i have to score i have to when i get the ball i shoot i'm at least shot on target at least as a nine you you would definitely get ball Saka is the um, Abat is the and then uh, what's he called? Abat. Um, I say Abat. Um, Jesus. Not Jesus. Martin Odegaard is very creative. You would definitely get passes from him. So I think as not still need a, a clinical nine. But hopefully, um, Gabriel Jesus is going to. You know, Gabriel Jesus said he's back. He's he has worked hard. He has prepared well for this season. Hopefully, he gets more minutes to prove himself uh, right. But with at, that statement, Ateta said it. Ateta said what you said now. But Ateta giving him six minutes doesn't show that. Yeah, ob obviously, you can expect. You, you can just. You can just be lucky to get you probably give an assist or a, a goal. If you're just on the lucky, you know, the lucky side. But I don't expect. How do you expect someone? You bring someone six minutes to come and you know prove himself right. Or oh, what do you expect? No, 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 no. All right. You said Arsenal needs a striker, and you guys have two strikers already in the team. Who is leaving and who is staying? If Arsenal should get a striker now, obviously can use three strikers in. Yeah, this obviously. Is I, I think when you're, you're talking about striker, do you mean Gabriel Jesus and Nketiah? No, Gabriel Jesus, Nketiah, and um, Havertz. Now, Havertz is not my striker. But I've no. played most of your games yes, as a striker. Yeah, because player. I didn't have a striker that. Abad is serving. It is not. He's not serving just a purpose. He's serving more purpose, like multi purpose. You can see what he's doing. He's stepping back, coming to midfield. But I didn't see him in pressure. He didn't. He didn't pressurize um, the opponent today. I can see other guy doing the the, the the pressuring, like he just moving and pressuring, giving them. But I just, I just want Arsenal to just sign a nine. If I can, if possibly I get a nine. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Arsenal are waiting on uh, Miketia to leave the uh, the team. But the mm. deal failed. Um, myself. Obviously, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with about that, but I'm not bothered about that. All right. So generally, what can you say to Arsenal team about their performances today? I think Ateta needs to just reassess um, his uh, tactics and tell the tell the teams that this is a new season and we need we need to win the title. This is this is not a more more or one uh, small thing to play with. We need to work on our next uh, uh, next opponent because everything will get tougher. You know, this, this is going to get tougher. You can see what happened today. Uh, Yes, oh, Wolves, Wolves, we never expected that. We dominated them in the first half and they came back in the second half dominating us. Uh, like, it, uh, it was, it was, it was uh, ridiculous. But at the end of the day, the way, getting the three points is the, is the main thing. All right, thank you so much for your time.